Well, unfortunately, I'm back in the garage here tonight to share the disappointing news that replacing the Bosch 6 volt coil here for a new one um, did not solve the issues. It, uh, it again still starts up, idles, runs good, but after a, uh, a longer drive, and by longer I mean about 15 minutes, um, it seems to start stumbling again at low revs, and then uh, when you turn it off, it doesn't want to restart. So, something I didn't think of or didn't uh, bother checking was the output of the generator. And uh, it, it appears that it starts stumbling and having issues restarting because the battery voltage is getting low. Um, and after doing some tests here, I was only getting about 0.5 volts output here. Um, that's the signal wire there to the, the gauge. Um, the light was coming on at idle, but standing above idle was turning off. But for some reason, even though it's going off, I'm just, I was still only getting about 5 volts, sorry, 0 0.5 volts here. Um, so I took this off, I went through it, um, cleaned up, the brushes were sticking, um, cleaned it all up, freed it up, lubed the brushes, and put it back on. And I was hoping that would solve the issues, but uh, again, I'm getting about 1 to 2 volts here now. At idle, and when I rev it up, I'm getting about 6.5 at max, um, which match here on the positive side going to the battery. But uh, obviously, that's not enough to keep the battery charged, especially when I'm idling lots. Um, just out taking pictures, and I start idling a bit and go take off, and I start stumbling, and it seems to run rich. But I think that's because of poor ignition, just got, not getting the proper six voltage to the coil there. So, what I'm going to do now something I learned today is that you need to set the polarity of generators and I guess what that means is taking the belt off hooking positive up to there hooking negative to there and connecting that to the, the ground as well and feel free to comment below if I'm doing that wrong but that's the uh, information I'm finding online what that does is it will spin the generator to ensure it's uh, working properly first and also sets the polarity so that it will charge properly um, without having that uh, magnetism or charge um, it just won't put the output that it's supposed to so anyways let's give this a try and see how it works all right so let's have a look here at zero volts and battery voltage is reading three point zero volts and I've checked that to the battery and I'm getting the same here and on the battery um, zero volts there and let's start it up to see how, uh, how many volts we're getting at idle and when revved up
the engine off. But again, zero. And a 6.2. Uh, so as you can see, it's I am getting about six and a half volts out of the generator, um, but it has to be revved up quite a bit to get there. So when, what I'm going to do now is take the belt off here and uh, try polarizing that. Again, I'm completely unfamiliar with that process, so we'll see if I'm doing it right. And we'll see if uh, putting power to it spins the generator as it should. Assuming it does, then we'll put the belt back on, start it up and see how the voltage output compares to now. Um, if that does not spin with power, I guess that means the generator is faulty. I'll need to uh, order in some brush kit and um, install those and uh, we'll see if it spins with the positive six volt power to it afterwards. So I have seen some people pull these belts off with the motor running, but I'm certainly not that brave. So we'll do it the, uh, the other way here. these off and I believe I'm connecting the uh, negative here to the negative positive to the positive and also connecting the negative to the base there let's see if that works And it's spinning. Not very fast, but it is spinning. And the research I've done online tells me that uh, just a few seconds is enough to give the charge in the generator there that it needs for the correct polarity. Get that back on. All right, let's get the engine started. And I'm gonna measure the voltage on the output there. And we'll see how the voltage there now compares to uh, beforehand. All right, so there I am at uh, 6.16 and 0 0.32.
so it does appear to be maybe slightly better but still not getting the uh, 7 7.2 volts output that I believe I should be getting so I think what I'll do is order a new brush kit off CIP1 um, get that installed with the uh, the battery hooked up it is spinning this it's not as fast as I would expect it to be but I'm not really sure if that's correct or not but anyways I think it's worth it to get some new brushes in there the ones that are in there now um, maybe halfway through its life um, there is a stamping on here saying it has been rebuilt at one point so it's uh it's not completely original but that uh, it uh, probably could be serviced anyways let's get those ordered and hope to see them in a week or so and uh do some more tests after that thanks for watching guys wish me luck